There's a battle between Apple and Facebook that's brewing right now. In this case, Apple is about to do something and Facebook is really not happy about it. Why are you the way that you are? So what is Apple about to do and why is Facebook so mad about it? What might be the real reason why Apple is doing it? And more importantly, who's the bad guy here? Let's just start by saying that the whole thing is really cynical. I just want to put it out there. And also, subscribe. Subscribe. I hope this isn't news to you, but Facebook and other big tech companies track what you're doing on your devices so they can sell you targeted ads. So let's say you're in need of a new cooking pan and you search for it online. You will then be bombarded by ads from companies who make cooking pans asking you to please give them your money. And this is fine, I guess, if you looked for cooking pans on Facebook. Although that would be weird. But it's much less fine if Facebook is able to see that you're in the market for a new cooking pan on other apps or browsers. This is called third party tracking, which can get creepy. And it's especially creepy when it comes to WhatsApp because they're tracking what you write. But guess what? Because WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, they don't even need to ask for your permission. They only need to ask for your permission on apps that they don't own. So what is Apple is going to do now is having a pop-up. That's it. Asking you, the user, if you want to let Facebook track you on other apps. So it's really just an interface thing. What Facebook is really worried about is that given the choice, most users will say, nah, I'm good. And that doesn't mean less ads for you, by the way. It just means that you'll be served less specific ads. Facebook is saying it will especially hurt small businesses as they rely the most on those specific targeted ads to get business. Assuming that big corporations can just blanket spray everyone with their ads. Facebook is already testing the pop-up to try and gauge consumer reaction and they're not sharing the data and I'm guessing it's not very good considering how stimulated they are to crush this thing. Maybe they should add flowers and rainbows to the pop-up to make it more friendly. So Facebook is saying, please allow us to track you for a better ad experience. I love that phrasing and it somewhat makes sense. I already avoid ads like the plague. Sorry, too soon. I can only imagine how much I wouldn't pay attention if there were ads that have nothing to do with what I like. If you're gonna get served ads, it might as well be for things that you care about. Oh, I like that. But are they using your data only for targeted ads? Apple doesn't seem to think so. And they're saying, hey, tracking users and harvesting their data is wrong. And we need to put a stop to it. You can watch this entire Tim Cook speech if you want. So what's in it for Apple? Besides thinking that consumers might gravitate more towards their products now that they want privacy. Surely there must be something else. As much as I like to think they're doing this for the greater good, there must be a monetary benefit. According to Dan Levy, who's the VP of ads at Facebook, Apple is purely doing this for profit and not privacy. He says it will force businesses to turn to subscription and in-app purchases, of which Apple takes a 30% cut. I don't know, that seems pretty far-fetched. First of all, he's only addressing publishing businesses, which they've recently told to f*** off in Australia, so that's a bit rich from them. It's a real blanket statement, labeling publishers as all small businesses. Ultimately, what it will do is make advertising on Facebook specifically less attractive, not just advertising in general. And as always, where do you stand on this? Would you let Facebook track you across all apps? Let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe, it's free. See ya.